what's going on it's your boy coach here and then once the grind is over then you can refeed again but you if you have a, a very aggressive physique goal mic test one two three four five mic test one two three four five all right so seven o'clock all right there we go it's march 21st and we are going to be filming the gauges and for me specifically in this part of the journey what's been most difficult with all these celebrations and just you know all these foods you know out on vacation i had a couple refeeds and it's i instead of being like oh my gosh i'm now i'm behind you know i i didn't have my deficit this week and now i'm behind on my goal i say you know what my body needed that and now i have the motivation because my body's now content and it'll let me move forward rather than if i'm feeling guilty about it now i'm going to have this psychological resistance to continue i'm like ah, i need to cheat this or i need to cut these calories here and i kind of do have measurements where i'm balancing them out but i had so many days of say pleasure that i have to balance it out with some suffering you can't just have all pleasure or all suffering it's you got to find the balance in that and that's what i'm trying to do so refeed is really hard to put in just a few words really if if you just had to think about it you know people will say cheat meal cheat day it's just to me a point when i get enough calories or enough of a macronutrient say like for me i always hold fats kind of low so if i get a lot of fats in say one day or these giant meals where i'm just like overly stuffed instead of feeling guilty about it i actually look at it saying that's my body you know replenishing what i've been depriving it of and once i bring that back into balance my body goes okay cool we're good so then i can continue my deficit and so that's where I think a lot of people will get that, oh, the cheat meal, it keeps them going. It's like, well, you know what? Your body actually is pretty intelligent. And I think subconsciously, we kind of know the foods that are gonna put on body fat or things that, you know, we get these cravings for foods that our body knows that we need. And so I'm a firm believer in that. But ultimately, yeah, refeeds are a really good thing. I think you should incorporate refeeds, especially when your deficit starts getting past, say, eight weeks. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, say like a 2,000 calorie deficit a week, or if it's even more extreme, say seven, 8,000 calories, which is a lot. But if you have enough body fat to lose to where the body's okay, you're gonna be all right. But if you're getting leaner, and I'm talking like, I hate saying BMIs and body fats, but somewhere in the normal range, once you go below that, that's when you're gonna to start struggling and you're gonna need these refeeds they're gonna help you with controlling ghrelin and leptin you can look those up I've talked about them before too so one thing I got to talk about real quick because I mentioned I would is this hat I haven't been as lean as I was wearing this hat it was when my daughter was playing on this team she was it was t-ball and I was 160 pounds and I was on a very low calorie diet um, I felt pretty good for the most part, but really just didn't have strength. And I struggled with body dysmorphia. I struggled with eating disorders. And the one thing, and kind of this hat kind of reminds me of, is that refeeds and all these things I've learned, they've helped me get past those things in terms of struggling with, you know, feeling guilty about eating foods and foods that are bad and foods that are unhealthy. I unprogrammed all that. It's gone. And so for me, I don't, I don't really worry about that anymore. It's like, you got to find balance in life. And even in this, say, high calorie deficit, I'm calling it, it's really not as high as I'm kind of leading on to. It's more of the fun of, you know, just playing nutrition, but stop calling foods good and bad. If you can do that, and really embrace the refeed and still keep caloric control on other days. That's why most people say a cheat day or cheat meal because if they go past that, then they don't think they can balance it out over the other six days. And that's just garbage because I can take one really extreme day of a refeed and one really extreme day like a fast and it'll balance out because we actually burn more calories than we think and we consume a lot more calories than we are led on to. So it's one of those things, people just don't know enough about it. But calories in, calories out. It's really hard to you know, learn that and eh, whatever, we're going on a tangent.